Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So I've got a new um, Magpie Gel colour video for you today. Um, this is the brand new Feel the Heat collection. It was launched at Pro Beauty London at the weekend on um, Sunday and then it was launched online on Monday evening. So there's eight new colours in the Feel the Heat collection. If you've seen my Instagram or you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen I've already swatched all of the colours um, and also they're all on my Facebook page as well. Um, both of the links for uh, all of my pages are, are down in the description box if you want to go and take a look. Um, but I wanted to do a video on the, the Feel the Heat collection to just kind of show you on camera the colours um, and just to kind of talk about them and obviously show you the swatches as well which I'll be adding into um, the video as well. So like I said there's eight colours so we've got quite a nice variety of colours we've got a couple of um, lighter colours, a couple of brighter colours and then a couple of dark colours um, but what I'll do is I'll start off from light to dark um, and yeah, we'll just get straight into it. So the first one I'm going to look at is Nude Jude, which is basically kind of as it says on the bottle, it is a nude colour. So it's quite a nice creamy nude colour. I'll add the swatch now. So, and this was um, two coats onto um, my acrylic nails. And as you can just kind of see, it's a really nice creamy nude colour. It's not the same as Fanny Annie or Cat Got The Cream. It's kind of in the middle of both of those colours. Um, but it was really nice to apply. And it's Next up, we've got April Showers, which is this sort of like grey toned uh, pearlized colour. I'll add the swatch for you now. So as you can see, you can see the real sort of pearly shimmer um, to it. And obviously it's quite a sort of metallic colour, but it is a grey colour with this sort of pearlized sheen to it. The swatch I did was, you know, two two coats again, um, and I've used this on clients as well. And again, it's definitely a two coater, which is fabulous. Um, this wouldn't normally be a colour that I would personally choose, but... It has actually been very popular with my clients. Um, so if you're thinking that it's maybe not the colour for you, it could actually be the colour for your clients because obviously my clients range quite differently um, in age groups. So um, it's always nice to have a good variety. And I think for me, this looked a bit darker on my skin, but on my clients, um, it looks really, really lovely. And they've absolutely loved the sort of pearlescent sheen of it as well. Next up, we've got Days of Dawn. And this is a sort of coral colour, but it's quite a light coral colour. It's not neon or anything like that. It's really super pretty. I'll add the swatch for you now. So it's kind of like a peachy coral or like a pastel-y coral, I, was, I would say. It's not really super orange. It's not really super pink. It is just a really nice sort of pastel-y coral colour. Um, this was one I was really excited about because I love all the coral types of colours and my clients absolutely love them as well. I've already used this a couple of times. Um, and it's just a very, very nice colour. Um, on the swatch, I used two coats again, as always. So you can really see the consistency is fabulous um, with this colour. Unlike some other brands with these type of shades, you may need to use like three or four coats. But with this one, it was definitely a two coater. So I'm pl pretty pleased with that. Next up, we've got Dar Darling Clementine which is a really nice bright orange. I wouldn't say that this was neon neon, um, but it is quite bright. Um, I'll add the swatch for you now. So again, that was two coats, which is really great. Again, for a bright orange like this, sometimes with these type of colours, you need to use three or four coats, but not with the Magpie ones. I always find literally three coats would be your maximum if you wanted to. But like I said, the swatch I did was just in three. Um, obviously, I think it's the wrong type of year right now <laughs> with all the snow and everything like that going on in the UK but this is definitely going to be a very popular colour over the summer I can tell because my clients love 
like pinks, corals, orange, it's going to be really super popular. So I am looking forward to using this quite a lot. Next up, we've got Toodaloo, which is quite a difficult shade to describe, I think. To me, it's a bit of like a rusty red pinky shade. Hopefully you can see that. So I'll add the swatch for you now. So again, that was in two coats and this is a really unique colour. I don't think that there's many other colour, uh, like brands out there with a colour like this or not that I've seen. I've never had a colour like this, um, but it's really, really pretty. And I think it's really flattering on all skin tones as well, which is um, great, you know, especially when you have got a wide variety of clients like I have. It's always really nice to have colours that flatter all skin tones. Um, and I absolutely love this colour myself as well. I really can't wait to, to use this colour and I think it's going to be very popular and um, closer to the summer. Next up we've got All About Mimi which is hands down my favourite from this collection. I absolutely adore this colour, it's so nice. So it's like um, a sort of beetrooty kind of colour I would say. So it's sort of like pinky purpley type of thing. I'll include the swatch for you now. So again, that was done in two coats um, and this is quite a bit lighter than cherry pie. I know some people have said, oh, it looks quite similar. It really isn't. This is a lot lighter than cherry pie, although I would say they're definitely within the same sort of colour zone or colour range. This is a lot lighter, but this is hands down my absolute favourite colour. And this has been really popular with clients. I have used this quite a few times already on clients. It's been really, really super popular. And like I said, it is definitely my favourite. I absolutely love this colour. Next up, we've got Hazelnut, which um, again is quite an unusual colour, I would say. Wouldn't normally be one that I would personally pick. It's like this warm brown hazelnut colour. Um, so obviously, again, the, the name is quite sort of self-explanatory, but it's a really lovely brown. I really like it. I'll include the swatch for you now. So again, that was with two coats. I don't normally pick brown colours because some of my clients don't like them, but actually I've had quite a few of my clients already peg this as their next colour. They're really looking forward to it. I think it's because it's such a nice warm tone. It's not like a real muddy brown. It has got that sort of tinge of red to it, which is really nice. Um, and I can already sort of see some really nice sort of magpie glitters going with this colour as well. Um, and again, you know, two coats, which is always a plus. And then finally, we've got Poison Ivy, which I don't know if it's going to really come across on camera. It's quite a difficult one to actually um, photograph. It is a very dark purple colour and it has got this sort of pink shimmer to it. But it is very subtle, but it is very, very dark. I'll include the swatch for you now. In real life, it looks a lot more purpley, but then on the nails and in the swatches, it looks quite black, but it's just really, really dark purple. Um, I actually have it on my nails at the moment, so I don't know if you can really see like the pink shimmer or the purpley tones to it. It does look quite black, but it isn't, but it is such a lovely colour. It's really, really nice. The consistency is really nice as well to this, and obviously I've got it on, which means that I really like it. <laughs> These were the nails that I did for um, Professional Beauty at the weekend and I just absolutely loved this colour as soon as I tried it on so I knew that I had to do it um, because it was really, really super, super pretty. So there you have all eight polishes from the new Feel the Heat collection. Um, I do think that my favourites at the moment are probably Toodaloo and All About Mimi. I definitely think as the months go on, Days of Dawn and Darling Clementine are going to be um, really, really popular. But actually, I have used most of these colours already on clients. I've used New Jude, April Showers, Days of Dawn, All About Mimi and um, Poison Ivy. So I think that's pretty good going, really. Um, and yeah, like always with the Magpie polishes as well, I really love the consistency. Um, you know, two coats, three coats maximum if you really, really have to. But these polishes are really, really good um, for sort of colour payoff. 
Um, there was also a new glitter collection launched at Professional Beauty um, and online on Monday. I will be doing a separate video for that when I get a chance. So I hope that you liked this um, swatch and review video guys for the new Magpie Gel Colour Collection. Please don't forget to check out my Instagram and also my Facebook page as well which I'll leave the links down below. I'll obviously leave the links down below as well for where you can buy these polishes so I hope that you like this video guys please like and subscribe for future videos and I'll see you all again soon bye